This tutorial is based off of Unity's classic Rollaball. While I've stuck to the same code and used some of the same basics, I've shortened it a bit so you can learn the same concepts, but in less time. I've broken this down into five parts, a board setup, player and camera movement, and we'll be using the new input system, collectible pickups, scoring in UI, and also building your game. I'll start with the board setup to create the floor and the walls. If you're already familiar with building these things in Unity and you want to build these yourself, you can jump ahead to the next video where you'll create the player and camera movement. Your play field doesn't have to look the same as mine. We mainly just need a floor to work off of. So if you are familiar and you'd like to work on your own, go ahead. Start a new 3D core project and build your play field. I put some of the specs I'll be using on the bottom of this page here. And then I'll see you in the next video and I'll put a link here so you can easily get to it. For those who want to see how this can be built from scratch, let's get started. Okay, to get started, let's do a new project. I'm going to use 3D Core and I'm going to name my project Rollaball. Now that our project is open, let's make the floor. So I'm going to go into the hierarchy and click on the plus sign and create a new plane. So I go to 3D object plane. After that's created, I'm going to make sure that the transform is reset to 000. If it's not, make sure to go to these three dots and say reset because we just want it to start and be anchored to the world's origin. I'm going to rename this and call it ground. I'm also going to change it to make it a little larger. I'm going to set the scale to X2 and Z2. I don't need to change the Y because since it's a plane, it doesn't actually have a Y dimension anyway. I'd also like to assign a material to it. So I'm going to create a material in the assets folder. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and say create material. I can name that material ground and I can pick the albedo to change the color. So I'm going to go off of the example I had before and kind of pick a green. And then I can assign this color to my ground simply by dragging to it either here or in the hierarchy. Since I'll be making other materials, I'm going to go ahead and make a folder to organize my materials in. So I'm going to right click, say create folder, I'm going to call it materials and drag my ground material into that. The benefit of that is otherwise you end up with all kinds of random things in your assets folder. It's just nice to have it organized. Now I'm going to work on creating my walls. I'm first going to create a, an empty game object to hold the walls just to organize it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on plus create empty, and I'm going to rename that walls. I'm also going to make sure that the transform position of that is also 0, 0, 0. If it's not, I can always go to these three dots and say reset. I'm going to go ahead and create my first wall, and I'm going to say plus 3D object cube. So here it is in the middle of my scene. I'm going to go ahead and name this west wall and drag it inside of my walls game object just to organize it. Now let's make it look more like a wall. So I'm going to change the scale of this to X um, 0.5, Y 2 to make it taller, and then I'm going to make the Z 20.5. Zoom out just a little bit. Now this doesn't look like it's my west wall. It's kind of oriented strange. So a quick way to be able to get the orientation of your scene to look like it is kind of from the camera, same sort of view, is to tip it up into a different view and then change it back to perspective. So I'm going to click on this top green Y in the gizmo and it'll show me the top view. And what you can do is hold down the shift key and then click in the box here and it resets it to the right 
orientation with um, just a little bit up from looking down on your scene. So what's nice is now this will be right and left. So it kind of just orients it properly. So I'm going to move this to where the west wall is. I can either drag into position with the move tool or I can change the position of X to minus 10. Okay, so that pushes it to the edge. Now what I'm going to do is simply duplicate this and make an east wall. I'm just wheel mousing out to look at it a little better. So I can click on my west wall, right click, and say duplicate, and it makes another one. I'm going to rename that to east wall. And then all I need to do is change the x position of this one to 10. So over here I'm going to change this to 10. So that moves it over there. Now I'm going to make the north wall. I'm going to duplicate my east wall. I'm going to rename it to north wall. I'm going to change the scale to change the shape of it. So I'm going to essentially swap the X and Z sizes. So I'm going to make this 20.5 and this one I will make 0.5 and then I just need to move it into position. So I'm going to reset my position to 0, 0, 10 to move it back. And I can do something similar for the south wall. I'm going to duplicate that, rename it south wall, and change the Z position to negative 10. So now like the floor, I want to give these some sort of material. I'm going to go into my materials folder, and I'm going to go ahead and make a similar green, maybe a little darker. So I'm going to say create, I right clicked, create material, I'm going to name that walls and I will change the albedo in the inspector to kind of a little maybe darker green. And to assign it, I simply drag the material to the object either in the hierarchy or into the scene view, whichever works best for you. I'm going to go ahead and save this so I don't lose any of my progress. Now I'm going to focus on setting my camera angle. So right now this is just how the scene looks, but the game looks like this. So I'm going to set my camera angle just to a nicer um, viewing angle. So in the inspector, I'm going to click on my main camera. And in the inspector for this, I'm going to set the position to X0, Y10, just to move it up a little bit. Z I'll leave at negative 10 but I'm going to rotate this X to 45 just to tilt it down. And there we have our play field. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, but I just realized I didn't save my scene as anything besides sample scene. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before we proceed. I'm going to go ahead and say file, save as, and then it's a scene. So I'm going to go put that in my scene folder and I will call this mini game. And I'm doing this to match the other rollerball tutorials. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. In the next video, we're going to create a player and control movement and also move the camera to follow it.